Hi guys, Angie Bell is my fairy treasures. Okay, you guys, I'm coming at you today with some artistic collage. So, what I wanted to share with you is I basically I have this turned sideways because it's an 11 by 14 and it can't fit all under the camera at one time. But this is basically I have I don't I, I kind of placed all the pieces. I haven't glued them down yet. Um, so I'm going to glue them down with you. So I kind of pre-organized or auditioned and pre-organized how I want the pieces. Plus I took a picture of it on my iPad. So I have an idea of what, um, I want and things don't always stay exactly the same. Like I don't, I'm not super strict with myself. If I decide to change things or add things, I'm always good with it. So, okay. So let me turn this around and we're going to take all the pieces off. And I'm working on a what? This is a piece of post a piece of poster board. I was lucky and found a ton of poster board. This is what it's gonna look like right side up. I found a ton of poster board. I got lucky at um like I don't know. It, it looks like maybe two or three hundred pieces of uh, poster board from the thrift store. But you can get poster board eleven by fourteen around that size at um at uh, Dollar Tree. I saw it there. So anyway, so let's take all these pieces off because we need to paste everything down and and I kind of lay the pieces on the sides they go to. Like all this goes over here. So I kind of do it like that. This is all over on this side. That goes up there. And so the first two pieces that definitely have to be glued down are um, this big watch and this piece here, I believe. Yeah. So the first thing is going to be this watch. So let's glue this watch down. Isn't that watch just fabulous? Um, I'm also going to use a small magazine as my glue surface so I can just turn the page. And always have a nice glue surface to work on. I think this magazine right here is good enough for that. I always use the free magazines that I get in the um, in the mail. Okay, so we need to glue this down. Oh, the glues I'm using. Now, the glues I love to use are um, this glue stick here. It's uh, Avery. Now, they, ha they have this at Dollar Tree. When school, when they have the back to school stuff, but it's the only time of the year they have it. Um, I was able to actually buy it because I'm this, I'm, this is the stick that I bought at um, Dollar Tree. This little small one I just bought on eBay for like, you get a lot. You get like eight sticks for five bucks, something like that. But you can buy Avery glue on eBay unless they have it at Dollar Tree um, during the school section, uh, the back to school season. Um, the other glue I love to use is the Elmer's all purpose glue stick. That's a good one. And then Yoohoo. I finally, I went ahead and bought a bunch of it from, um, a bunch of it on eBay. Um, everyone always bragged about it and the best deal I could get, basically you're buying for, I think a dollar glue stick, um, is to buy it on eBay in a big pack. So I bought a big pack so far. I'm going to do, I'm going to use this right now. My favorite one is the Avery, but everyone loves this Yoohoo, and I haven't used it a whole lot to make a good judgment. So let's try it out. I did notice that I, to me, it seems like you need to use a lot because it dries out really quickly. So I think it's how you work. If you can work really fast and get the glue on and then get it down, I think it could be good. I don't know. We're going to, we're going to find out right now. So let me just start. And I think the other thing, the other, oops, the other uh, thing is to get a lot on too, not be light handed about it. All right, so let me get, try and get this down. Okay. 
Let me find my, where's my lid at? How can I lose my lid already? There it is. All right. And then I have a roller. I'm gonna roll. You guys, you know what? I like having a dedicated roller from my collage. Um, this isn't the same one I use for my jelly plate. I just use it for collage because um, you can just really go over it nice and really get things sealed down nicely. I saw another collage artist using that and I was like, ooh, that's a good idea. And right now at Hobby Lobby, they have them on clearance for uh, 250 no matter what size. They have really huge ones for like a really nice big, huge uh, jelly plate. And then they have uh, smaller ones, and they're 250 so it doesn't matter what size. So I picked up a couple of each just to have extra on hand because that's a really good price. Okay. So the next thing, remember I said I wanted to do was use, do this piece here. Okay. And I like to audition my pieces and kind of... Um, Go ahead and create the collage before I get on here because that takes a little bit of time and when you're making a video you don't have you know that much time to be him and hawing about what you're gonna do so okay so let's do that now or your video could be going on forever all right we're gonna keep using this yoohoo I think what I like about I'm using this Yuhu right now is I'm using a lot on I'm using a lot of it. I'm not I'm putting it on heavy. I remember I put it on kind of light and I didn't like it, but I just right now I'm applying it heavier and I like it better. I'm liking the Yoohoo. Oh, shoot. How did that happen? Hopefully that stays... Ooh. Hopefully that stays laid down. We'll see if that comes up at all. Okay. Not really sure why that came up. It's weird. Okay, another thing that we can do right now is this, this little piece here. I can just put that right back. I can put that right at the top here. I can use my magazine over here. Keep my baby wipe near me so I can keep my hands from getting sticky. You think I wouldn't mind sticky hands as much as I use glue all the time. So I can say I'm liking so far. I'm liking the Yuhu glue. So we'll just see how it um, how it lasts. You know if it comes up at all. I can say the um, the Avery glue. It glues nice. I don't have anything coming up off the page once it's down. It's nice. I remember someone told me about that. Who was I think they did like cards and stuff, or maybe they did junk journals and they love the Avery glue. And they had said they got it from the school section during school time at Dollar Tree. And I was like, a dollar for really good, for a really good glue stick. So I went over and got it. And they had two. And I bought them both. Okay. I think this was last year or the year before. So that glue stick, I'm on my second one. Finally. But they lasted me out forever. Okay. I'm trying to look and see what the heck I did right here. Okay. All right, so we need to put these pots in here. We could put it about right here. Looks good. All right. Now, when I do this, I'm going to leave um, 
because I can see right now I'm going to be putting little the little squiggles down like some little teardrop pieces of paper and I'll tell you how I create those also but for right now so I will glue all this down but not the very bottom I'll leave the bottom loose for now The way the yoo looks, the bottom looks like it'd be the top. Look, look how big it is. I always open that up and mess my hands up. Anyway, here we go. <clears throat> so if you're a person who didn't ever, didn't like the uh, yoo glue, Make sure you put it on heavily. You need to put it on heavy, not real light. And um, I think you'll like it. I love collage, you guys. It's one of my favorite things to do. And um, look for it. I'm going to do another video, and I'm going to do collage where I make like these, uh, these like fairy and uh, mermaid worlds, little fantasy worlds. And then I put my mermaids and my fairies in them. So that collage, that kind of a collage, it's really collage. It's really collage and mixed media. We'll be coming up next. <clears throat> I just hit the camera. Sorry about that. Alrighty. Okay, I got some stuff on my desk that's got to go. There we go. Just a second, I'm rearranging my damn desk. There we go. All right, so let me look at my, my iPad here. And let's see what else I need to add. So this is all open on the bottom here. So let's go ahead and stick my um, danglers on there. Now, how I create danglers is this. Yeah, we'll put my danglers on now. How I create my danglers is, is like this. Let me see which danglers I want to put on. We'll, put, we'll do this one. And I like doing these dangles because it just kind of gives like, it just gives like some drama to the piece. Okay, we're gonna use these three dangles, and you can use these if you see a, if you see a piece of chain like when you're doing when you're um, looking for um, scavenging for uh, for pieces of collage bits. If you see a chain or something that dangles, cut it out and you can use it as a dangler, or you can make your own danglers. So what I did to make my own dangler is is I took whatever piece of paper like I'll just show you like this magazine. Suppose this is a print that I like. Find a print that you like or a background or a color that you like. And then you just take your um, your knife like this. And you just simply go like this. And then go back and follow it. And just make these little snakes. And you'll come up with the most beautiful dangles. Okay? And that's it. So when you're... Um, when you're hunting for your collage bits, also hunt for um, cool things that will make really cool danglers. Like, you know, the um, you like the colors, you like the print, whatever. So that's how I made the dangles. All right, so let's get the first dangle on here. Okay, so now let's use my Yubo to glue all this down. Or at the oh, at least, well, you know what? Actually, not yet. 
because I got to put the rest of my dangles on. Okay, so the next dangle is going to be this one, and I think it's going to come across like that. I discuss where do I get my collage bits for my for my collage from all every every magazine you know from jewelry from like you know um, glamour magazines clothing jewelry whatever you have look in there there's always can be something interesting in every magazine for collage especially the free ones that you get um, in the um, mail look through that I find images all the time that I absolutely love in free magazines um, Okay. Love you. Love you. Um, so, also, like at the grocery store, you might see some magazines at the grocery store. We have the Las Vegas something. And they have the coolest prints in there. The coolest pictures, coolest prints. And they're trying to because they're trying to, you know, they're, it's adver a lot of it's advertisements. So, their advertisements are really vibrant with a lot of cool prints. I love it. Okay, just a second. All right, I'm going to have to cut, cut that off there at the bottom. Let's go like that and tuck it. So look how nice that, that looks. I think that looks fabulous. Um, yeah, so that's all the dangles for this right here. So let's go ahead and put a bunch of glue on here. Put glue here too. All right. Just use my baby wipe on it just in case there was any seepage there because I put a lot of glue down. Very cool. Love it. Okay, so next, what do we want to apply next? Next we're going to apply um, this guy here. That's that. I'm moving this down here like this so that we can make sure I can see. Alright, so we're going to put that guy there. And before, I had actually brought this over to here and covered up and covered up that pot. But I kind of like that pot being exposed behind his head. I think it won't matter anyway because I'm going to put a head there. Let me just see. Maybe I should because it won't make a difference anyway. Yeah. All right. I'm going to put like a headpiece over his face. So that's why it won't matter. It'll get covered. So let's go. Go ahead and use our roller. 
I love using this roller. I used to use a credit card like everyone. And then, I, like I said, I saw a quadro to use a roller like this. And I was like, uh, yes, ma'am. I love that. Okay. Next, what are we going to do? Oh, you know what? I meant to put dangles on here. I think underneath that. So let's see if I can, you know, I already got, you know what? I already got it out. I wanted to throw some dangles here. It's okay. You know what? If I do a dangle, I'll just put it and go over it. So that's fine. Okay. So let's put, I told you I had a face. Isn't that cool? We're going to put that face over the, over his neck like that. I think that is so cool. That's what I was saying. If you, if you mess up, just no big deal. Make adjustments. It's art. There's not mistakes. There's just opportunities. And if you look at it like that, you're going to be way ahead. If you look at it like that, you're going to be a lot less stressed about your artwork. And you shouldn't be stressed about your artwork. Because just know you can always fix it. Especially with collage. Stick something else over it if you don't like it. Stick something else over it or on top of it. What the heck? Okay. Something was stuck to my perfect something was stuck to my roller okay what else we want to do um i want to put the necklace on it's not an um oh yeah it is a necklace okay isn't this gorgeous look i'm gonna put this in. see this is what i was talking about this could have been a dangler see this could have just this part here could have been a dangle and another dangle but i cut this necklace I cut this necklace from um, a magazine. Do I want this to go up here or do I want it to go down here? I think I want it to go right there. Okay. And um, that's why fashion magazines are so good. Fashion magazines are fa fabulous for things like this. I think where I found this piece was not even a fashion magazine. I think I had a magazine that's full of jewelry. And um, it's like a jewelry catalog. I think that's where I got this. Um, watches are also awesome, which is what we started with, right? That big piece was a watch. You get those out of fashion magazines. Men's magazines have a lot of nice watches. And then there's the thing called... Um, I'll look it up what it is. I get it on eBay and it's just all full of watches. And I always make sure that I have one of those around. I'll put the link below and what it's called. And if you get it on eBay, the watch collect, the watch collector, something like that. It's a magazine. And it's just full of watches. All right, let's try to get this on how I want this. So it's kind of like this guy, this thing is wearing this big old beautiful diamond necklace. Fabulous. I can actually see it's not stuck down right here. Oh, a lot of it's not stuck down. Okay. All right, it wants to rip right there. I'm going to let it rip. Because we can always just glue it right back together, right? There we go. And I think 
it's very glued right here too. Remember I told you with this Yupo, if you don't get a lot on, it dries out really quick. I think that's what happened. We didn't get enough on. But I think we did now. Yeah, we're good now. Okay. Alrighty. So let me see what's next here. I'm just looking at my iPad here and it's telling me, it's keeping me on track with what I'm doing. see if I want to go like that. So just a second guys, I'm just I'm playing for a second. Yeah, we'll put that piece there. So I'm going to make sure I put enough glue on. There we go. Because it will like seriously dry out before you get to the paper to glue it down. Okay. And... another piece that's kind of like that so let's do that sorry I heard my gate open up and I said to make sure it was my nail lady and it was okay So we got that down. All right. So let me look and see what we need to do next. All right, I have these hats and these watches. I think the watch has to go and then the hat goes over that, I think. Look at this beautiful watch. Isn't that gorgeous? This is what I found in that one um, magazine is full of watches. Isn't that fabulous? Oh, love it. So uh, let's see what I did. I think I put it in like this. Something like this. Okay. And then I had some hats. I've always loved this stack of hats and I've had it for like a year. So you don't like it when you start doing this type of work, just collect things you like. And what happens is it starts being one voice and you'll collect the color. You are attracted to the same things over and over and over and over. So it almost doesn't matter what you do. Everything's going to go together for you because it's the same. It's the same voice. It's you making those choices over and over and over. 
so. And then that'll become your style. People be able to look and go, oh, that's an Angie collage, you know? She always likes to use stuff like that, and that's how she likes to arrange her stuff, so. And that magazine that I told you guys to get, it's not cheap. That magazine is kind of expensive. It's like $14, but it's full of watches. And if you, and if you do, if you like to do collage work, I would say it's totally worth it. The whole book is full of watches. I mean, you're going to have hundreds of watches to be able to cut out. If you, if you like to use watch, if you like to use watches in your, um, in your work. And I love to use watches. I love to use roses, um, clocks, birds. So I was talking about, you know, getting things free or getting things cheap, but also if it's okay to make a little investment in your collage material, if that's what you use a lot of. So decide where I want this to go. Oh, you know what? Oh no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I was saying, I was going to say, I, I want to add things at the bottom, but this isn't the bottom yet, so we're fine. Well, it kind of was the bottom, but... I think I need to put this in next. And then from here, we want to put this in at the bottom. Let's do it like this. Perfect. That'll fit nice together like that. And see, this isn't, I'm not doing exactly how I did before, but I'm doing pretty much. So, um... Oh, actually, yeah, because I want dangles to come from there. This needs to come like this. And then this needs to come, this needs to go right on the side of this. And then be a dangle. Perfect. And then, and actually, I may have this go through here. Okay. So, I'm going to uh, place that hat down, but i got a lot of dangles I want to put underneath that hat, so. So we're going to glue that down, but we're not going to glue down the bottom. I actually didn't mean to put glue on the bottom, which I did. It's okay. As long as I don't glue it down. We'll go about right there so I have plenty of room for the dangles. Okay. Okay, because underneath this hat, we're going to throw in a lot of dangles. We're going to throw in this one. Oh, this one's going to go on top because it's really long. So we're going to throw in this one. We'll do it like that. Okay.
Alright, so let's do it like, maybe go further up. This right here is actually a, a, a braid of a, of, um, it's a braid. So it's actually hair. <laughs> I'm using uh, a braid of a hair, a braid of hair, I guess that's what I should say, as a dangle. Kind of cool. And then this piece here. Then I'm going to use this to go right there. Okay, so these. this is a, that magazine I have just sitting right here on top of this whole thing just so I can glue everything down. So don't get confused when you see this magazine right here. You're like, what is that ugly thing right there? It's my magazine. And then I have another piece, but I think I want this to go, yeah, I want that to go on top. So we can glue this down. Glue this down. Jeez, this whole piece right here is really glued down. Let me see if I can bring it back up. Yeah, this hat, we can just bring it right back up. <laughs> Probably was having a hard time because I kept lifting it up. Okay, so let's put this hat back down over all of that. So when you take a picture of something and you're just kind of following your picture so that you can kind of stay on track, just remember it's only a guide. So, because I've already changed it a little bit, not majorly, but a little bit from what I originally had. So, because as you're doing things, things look different or you place them differently or whatever. So, like that's going to go across there. And originally that wasn't my plan with this, but that's how it's going to happen now. Alright, so now we're still working out down here at the bottom. And now I haven't even looked at my camera. Hopefully you guys are seeing what the heck I'm doing. Oh, hopefully you guys have been seeing. I think basically you've been seeing what I'm doing. Okay. Um, I better pay attention to my camera angle a little bit better. Okay, so originally I had this underneath the hats, but I've kind of changed my mind anyway, so. I'm gonna have this like this. I want a nice little amount of that watch showing. This might just go right on the side of this. I think that's what's going to happen and then I'll put this on top of that yeah okay oh 
I'm loving how this is turning out. Okay. So in the evenings when you're sitting there with your husband, or if it's a guy with your wife, or your partner, um, just be um, going through magazines and ripping pages out. And I don't always do all my cutting, all my fussy cutting then. A lot of times I just rip out the pages and then I do the cutting right before I'm going to make the art. Um, I think that's where I want this. You don't always have to do all the cutting right there. Just rip pages out. That's what I do a lot of times. And then I organize my pages in like little... Um, little plastic bins. Um, I'll show you. So I have one right here. Oh my God. I need to. I have food in here from yesterday. That is horrible. Okay. I organize my, in these bins I get from Dollar Tree. So you only spin in a buck. And then I label the front. This one might be labeled. You can label something nicer than tape, but I label that. And then that's what goes in here. And these stack inside of each other. So that's really a nice way to organize your collage bits. If you want to organize your collage bits, some people don't. They just have everything thrown in one thing and they like it like that. I kind of like to organize mine because I do different types of collage. And sometimes I'm looking for a specific thing. So, um... You know, I'm looking for birds, I'm looking for, you know, peacock, I'm looking for birds, I'm looking for butterflies, or, you know, so, anyway. But it's up to you. It is definitely up to you what you want to do as far as your organization. Just a second, you guys. I'm just auditioning this piece here to see what I want to do. And that might just do that. Okay, I like that. Just a second, you guys. I got a little itchy on my back. Okay. right to the bottom I don't know what this little bit is right here I found it in, in a magazine I just thought oh that's cool I don't know if I was gonna use it as a dangle or what I was gonna use it as but in this case it's a dangle we're going to put this right here I think like that yeah okay you turn the page I've almost used this whole you who stick up already. All right, that stick is gone. It's a goner. All right, so I'm gonna go to my um, my stick that I love, which is this Avery, which I like the you who. Just like I said, you have to make sure you use a lot. what I don't like about this big one right now it's too much I'm gonna use my smaller Avery stick here in a second put this back on it Okay. 
Okay. I'm looking for my little baby wipe. What did I do with it? I'll get another one. Okay, you guys, we are getting towards the end. Okay, also right here at the top, we're going to put this, it's just a belt. I'm going to put that belt right here at the top. The top of those two. And there's all types of collage. Um, I call this artistic collage because you're doing more than just, and there's nothing wrong with this either, but you're doing more than just um, sticking items down. You're doing it in a very artistic type of way. So it almost looks like a piece of art that you're like, oh, what is all that? It's all these things put together in a really, really pretty artistic way um, so that it almost doesn't look like collage. It almost looks like, like what kind of art is that? And there's nothing wrong with having a glue book where you just stick things down. There's nothing wrong with that either. That's fabulous too. But there's just a lot of different ways to do collage. So um, there's an abstract way of doing collage where you do a lot of like, um, I'm, I, I do it also where you take um, uh, like your handmade papers on a jelly plate and you start gluing those all down with documents and maps. And that's some other type of collage that I love. And you can always take and put a focal point on that. You can put your own like drawings of like my own girls as a focal point. You can do so many things. So as we keep going, you guys will see different ways I'm going to do collage. And use collage as just a background sometimes. Okay, over this hat, I have this brooch. Isn't this fabulous? So I'm going to put this on top of that. I still want you to see that it's a hat. Okay, so let's go that way. Let me make sure you guys are still there. Yes, you are. What time are we at? Okay. Cool. I love when I get about an hour is always good. But if I go an hour 20, an hour 30, I don't like to go over an hour and 30. So, I mean, unless it's a really, really big project and, I don't know, and it's appropriate to be having it that long. But otherwise, I'd like to stick with an hour at the longest an hour and a half so but I've talked about this before a lot of times I don't mind long videos because um, I like to like work along and just do whatever work on whatever project I'm working on and watch somebody else work on their art getting inspiration ideas and um, so and other people have said that they kind of like that too. They do like longer videos too for that reason. So they can just work along. Okay, this is a bunch of coins. Now this was an app, like an advertise. I think this was a free magazine that had a bunch of coins in it. And for some reason we get this every month now. I don't know why we didn't request it. And so now I keep it and I cut the coins out. See, that's the thing. You never know where you're going to find something interesting for your collage. So always be on the lookout for cool stuff to collage with. Always look out for cool collage bits is what I call them. You never know where you're gonna find them. Some of the coolest stuff I found, I got found for free. I'm gonna show you an image right now that I just found that came in the mail the other day. I'll show it to you guys. Love that. Well, you guys are seeing that. Yeah. I'll 
brush. I think it's underneath this right here. Oh, it's not underneath my iPad. Oh, I guess I can't show it to you guys. I thought it was underneath my iPad. I must have moved it somewhere. Huh. I don't know where I put it. Well, I hope I find it because it's a cool little collage bit. It was, a, it was like a cuckoo clock. It was a really cool cuckoo clock. Anyway, I put it somewhere. I don't know where. I'm sure I'll run into it. Okay, so. Do I have some more bits? Is that the last bit I had? I think that's it. I think that's all the bits I have. I think we're done with this one. Let me make sure that's... Oh, I had this bird, and I was going to see if I wanted to put this bird in, but I think I don't. I remember I was auditioning it in places, and it just didn't fit anywhere. <coughs> I love hummingbirds. But it didn't quite fit anywhere, and it still doesn't. So we will leave this hummingbird for another time. So let me go ahead and bring this up so you guys can see it. And like, you know what, actually, let me bring you guys down a little bit and then I'll move this around so you can see it. I think that's too far down. So that's the top. Middle and the bottom. I think this turned out cool. What do you guys think? I love it. Um, the next thing I want to experiment with is I saw another collage artist. She was, um, she, instead of working with just white paper, uh, this white, like um, like I said, this is poster board, she covered the whole thing in maps. And I thought, oh, how cool to do maps and like maybe book print and, um, and like letters. And so that's what's showing up underneath. So my next one, I want to do that. But I love how this turned out. Let me just turn this around this way so you can get a full view that way. I think this turned out awesome. Um, I will probably make prints of this and um, make prints of this and um, after I make the prints, put them onto um, notebooks. Um, I like to make custom made notebooks with my artwork and then I sell them in my Etsy shop. So I probably will do that with this one because I really like how it turned out. It actually turned out better than I thought it was going to. Okay, you guys, I hope you've been inspired. Ooh, I have a little piece coming up. Um, I hope you guys have been inspired. Um, let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you're going to do some collage, some, um, artistic collage art. And I think that's it for this one. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, any comments or questions, link below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a new um, clickable link, and it's called Buy Me a Coffee. So if you enjoyed this and you want to buy me a coffee, uh, which means like a little donation, you can do that um, and just click on that link and then go to that. Um, and that is it. Oh, and the most important thing, you guys, two most important things. Do something nice for someone today. And remember, we have more in common than we do not. All right? I'll talk to you guys in the next one.